Don Jay Leo. Hello, welcome back to Cubby Chase Farm. I appreciate you watching. First off, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and do so. And thank you to all the subscribers. We actually hit the 1,000 subscriber mark a couple of days ago. So really excited about that. Today, I'm down here with the chickens. We've got 650 Twinter Cross chickens here on pasture. They are right at seven weeks old. And I get a lot of questions about how much time each day does it take to do the chores with the chickens. So I thought I'd do a video on it. Actually, it doesn't take very long with the setup I have. Obviously on days where you're loading out chickens for the processor, or if I'm making a major paddock move where I move all my fencing that is around this paddock, which is about an acre, to the next spot of grass, that takes longer. But just normal watering, feeding, and moving my shelters back here, it's not really, it doesn't really take all that long. If you've been a subscriber and you follow me on other social media, you know Sam. Sam is our Anatolian Shepherd. He's nine months old. He's been here for about eight weeks, primarily because I was having an issue with great horned owls and the occasional hawk, but the geese that you hear, they pretty much stop the hawk, but not the owl. Well, I'm happy to say that since Sam has been here, which has been about eight weeks, we have not had a uh, predator issue at all, let alone an owl problem. So Sam's really been a game changer for us here on the farm. We raise our chickens in somewhat what I would call a free range environment, but we do use poultry netting. It, it, there's, about, there's about eight panels here that make up almost an acre. And the chickens have been moving this direction. So they've moved all the way down this part. You can see where the grass changes. Now they're here with their tubbers and I move the tubber one length every day. So they're on their way to that side. Then they'll come back up again. And then all the netting will flip and we will reset it on this part of the field and move them through that. So they're, they're always on fresh grass. Right now, if you look behind me, you see they're all up and under the shade covers. It's nice out, it's about 72 degrees, but the sun is hot, so they usually stay under there during the day for shade. And then at night and in the morning, they will spread out across this whole area. I started out by moving my hovers, my feeders, and my waterers, and getting them all set up so that I can put more feed in and then fill up all my waterers. thing I do is water the birds. I have a pretty easy water setup, so I have a frost-free hydrant here at the end of my driveway. And then I have garden hose, actually about a thousand feet of it, that will go the length of this whole field depending on where they're at. They're relatively close for right now. So I turn the water on and then fill up the waters. <laughs> Let me get away from these noisy geese. These waterers are cubic waterers, K-U-B-I-C, I think, or K-U-B-I-K. They're really handy out here on pasture. 
they're a float valve type water so you don't have to take the inhale part all you do is put the charging hose right in the top then there's a float valve at the bottom that controls the water coming out only issue I've had with them is you got to make sure they're on relatively flat ground so that the float valve will work right otherwise if they're a little bit off tilter it will drain out but in this field it's flat so I don't have any problems with that at this point I have five waterers out here they're 13 gallon waterers for 600 and some birds probably need a couple more waterers at seven weeks old they're going to go through this water at least twice a day so right before sun sets in the evening I usually come down here and water them one more time After I'm done watering, I'll um, fill up the feeders. I do have a gravity wagon here, so I can hold 6,000 pounds of feed. I go to a local feed mill and I have it picked up. And I have it here near the where the chickens are. And then I'll fill it into nine or 10 five gallon buckets. I do keep track of every bit of the feed I feed every day. I know each bucket holds about 23 to 25 pounds of feed and I'll keep track of that in a, little, in a little law book so I know how much speed the chickens are going through. Just over 200 pounds of feed, ready to head out to the feeders. My poultry netting is energized and electric. It's a little, it's a 12 volt system with a battery charge, with a solar charger to keep it charged. I normally drive the feed into the paddock, saves time trying to carry it. So I'll take the fence down right here and drive the side by side right up to the feeders. Don't get out. So you saw earlier how I had my feeders lined up. One thing this does for me is, if you notice, I have everything lined up in between the tubbers. Tomorrow, when I move the tubbers, I actually won't move the water or the feeder. The cover will come up to here, and then I'll feed water, but I won't move them. So I actually only do that every other day. My feeders, they hold 50 pounds of feed each. They came from Stromberg Supply. They're excellent. They have a rain cover on them. Heavy duty. Chickens eat out of them really good. That's it for this round of chores. Feeders are set up, waterers are set up, tubbers are moved. I will come back this evening, probably around, I don't know, seven o'clock, just before dark, and I will top off the waterers again, and I'll do it again in the morning when I run my chores like this. At this point, they're seven weeks old. Next week, they start going to the processor. This is when the daily routine is at its um, most inefficient because they're eating a lot of feed and drinking a lot of water. When they first come out on pasture, I may go a day and a half with the waterers without watering. I definitely only put feed in the feeders once a day, maybe even once every two days. 
So you go through a period of time when you spend very little effort up here. In those days, it takes me about five to 10 minutes. Days like this, when I get to here, where I gotta feed, water, and move everything, I'm looking at about 25 minutes. So still not bad at all from a um, manpower perspective. Thanks again to everyone for supporting the farm, helping me to grow this business, helping me to grow this channel. We made it to a thousand subscribers. I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a great week.